So Big Bloom is basically soil juice. It's derived from earthworm castings, bat guano, and a whole lot of sh I don't know why they have bloom in the name, and it's confusing because it's used throughout the whole plant's life. When you think about soil, think about sand, and even finer clay, then even finer silt. That's what this is. It doesn't list any of the trace elements, but it has everything you can't quantifiably measure and makes your soil more soily. So our starting pH was 6.14 and 6.31. When we added a milliliter of Big Bloom, it made it slightly increase to 6.75 and 6.95 respectively. It conveniently goes up in pH at a similar rate that Grow Big goes down, so they kind of balance each other out. It's worth noting that these figures gradually increased over a 10 minute interval before I stopped recording. This signifies that it has low solubility and that it's definitely not recommended for hydro. On the plus side, it's OMRI listed, so it's considered organic. So our initial PPM was 0 and 6, and after adding Big Bloom, it resulted in an increase of approximately 100 PPM, which is really low. This means that every milliliter you add will only increase the PPM of a gallon of water by 13.6. Regardless, the recommended dosage of 60 milliliters per gallon is absurd. 60 times 13 is 780 ppm, which is crazy if you're also adding other nutrients. I only recommend zero to 10 milliliters throughout the whole grow, and our proven feed schedule can be downloaded in the description. To summarize, it raises both ppm and ph slightly, and it's considered soil juice.